Hey there, I'm Jim Edgar, and I had another little trick that I figured out in Twisted Wave that I wanted to share with you today. This one has to do with exporting audio and seeing if you can append it into a single file. So what the heck am I talking about? Well, I'll be honest, this one came about by me asking the question, I wonder what this does. Here we go. So to start off with, we're going to need a little bit of audio to play around with. So I'm going to just open up a new Twisted Wave file. And when that opens up, I'll need to go in the booth and do some recording. All right, just going to start out with a new file. We'll hit record. And I don't even need a script for this one. Because I'm just going to do something simple like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Pretty straightforward. All right, now with that saved into a very simple file, we have places where I speak. And I don't even need a script for this one. That's pretty cool. And other places B, where I say certain phrases. D and F and places where I'm not speaking. Obviously, the parts in the middle are just room tone. One thing that most people don't realize is that in Twisted Wave, you can select a section and you can then press the Option key and select other sections. Now, this works a little like Photoshop and some graphic design things, but that allows me to highlight and select discrete areas within Twisted Wave. I can also just press play. And I don't even need a script for this one. B, E, pretty straightforward. And so those four places play contiguously. Now, I was explaining the export function in Twisted Wave to somebody, and you have to have something highlighted for it to show up under the file menu. But when you do that, you get this export selection. And so if I, and I don't even need a script for this one, have that and press Command E, I can create a file I don't even, which is sort of what I'm saying right there. That's all well and good, but it got me thinking that maybe what I could also do is use that option key and select a couple other things. And I wondered what it would do if I exported those sections. Would it create, would it split it like by markers or would it append it into a single contiguous file? So this is the way it sounds here. And I don't even need a script for this one. A, C, E, G. Okay, and if I go to the file export selection, I'm gonna just call this one contiguous. And that puts it on my desktop. So if I open that back up, what I have is... And I don't even need a script for this one. A, C, E, G. So effectively what I have done is taken these discrete selections and exported those as a contiguous file into this one. It's one of those other undocumented tricks that Thomas seems to have tucked away inside Twisted Wave. So you can also play a little bit with timing if you've got some room tone in terms of adding some pacing and things like that. So if you wanted to, again, press the Option key before I click for that second selection, I can give it a little bit of pacing, a little bit of timing, because there are some gaps after it. So I'm selecting into the room tone. And if I export, if I play that from within the selected file, C, D, F, kind of sounds right. I'm gonna export that. I'm gonna just call this some letters. And that should appear right there on my desktop because that's where I saved the last thing. And if I open that up, C, D, F, it maintained everything that I selected in this source file. Now, whether or not this is a useful tool, I will leave to your discretion. That it's just something that I ask that fateful question of, I wonder what this does, which is always a good way to play around with Twisted Wave. So I hope this helps. Hope that uh, shows you a couple things that you might not have seen. And in the meantime, go be brilliant.